everyone welcome back to my channel today i am unboxing augusty's album it's finally here i have been waiting two weeks for this since it said it was shipped out on weavers so i'm just gonna go right into it i did not get the target versions even though i really wanted to just because i did buy the set and this one comes with the pre-order benefits. There are a couple of things that I wanted to discuss while unboxing this, just because I wanted to be a little bit more organized. So I actually wrote down the stuff that I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna do the unboxing and hopefully try to get through all those topics. I'm gonna start with the pre-order benefit, which is, <laughs> it's already so cute. I don't know if there's like different versions of the pre-order benefit, but uh, it's so, oh my gosh, it's hollow. So here, oh, it's so cute. So I guess like, I know like other groups or like at least from my experience the ones i collect like nobody else does like hollow photo cards other than hybe i guess because the most hollow photo cards i've ever gotten was for bts so i think it's like their thing oh i guess this is like a i don't know what these are actually do you put like the photo cards in here is this a card holder okay so it's these ones and then there's this like cute little, is it like this? Yeah. So that's that. This is so, I can't get over this. This is so cute. Oh, I like the graphic in the back. Cute. Yeah, Weaver's Albums version. Postcard. And then this is the lyrics and then the photo book. Oh, I guess it's like a postcard. I actually don't buy Weaver's albums. I think the last one I got was June's album. But I think his was like loose, not like a not like a book. One of the things that I wanted to talk about was August D tickets, which it's either you got it or you didn't. And unfortunately, I was the one, one of the ones that did not get a ticket. I signed up for everything, like I signed up for the pre-sale on Ticketmaster. I even signed up for a fan club membership again. I I was already planning on not getting a membership this year just because with them enlisting, I thought there weren't going to be any other activities for them or schedules for them, but clearly I thought wrong. And so as soon as I heard that he was going on tour, I immediately signed up for a membership, did everything, and then I got waitlisted. So that was not fun at all. But then I somewhat still had hope. But then on the day of ticketing, Ticketmaster said that during pre-sale, all the shows were sold out. So then that's when I kind of like lost hope. Recently, they started releasing more tickets. So I tried again, but I didn't get the, the code for it. I feel like this experience ticketing wise has been the most difficult. And now my plan is to just wait until like the day before to, or the day of to try to get tickets. But even then I'm not feeling so lucky about it. With high talking about how 
they're now gonna do dynamic pricing or they're gonna turn on the dynamic pricing for all their tickets. That doesn't really surprise me because I feel like they were already doing that. So I, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about them because it feels like they were already doing it and kind of disappointed that they would just because you know they know people will buy tickets so there's really there was really no need to do a dynamic pricing oh there's a lot going on here but i'm just gonna grab the photo cards and i got And then, ooh. I love how everything is like so cinematic. What is this one? Does this do any? <gasps> Wait, does it do something or am I tripping? Oh, I think you're supposed to put it in here. Does it show? I can't really tell from here is there like supposed to be an image i feel like there's an image i just does it look like something's happening <laughs> oh wait. i think it looks like it's supposed to be like glitching that's cool and then again i think he has his oh this one is a book this time of uh, the lyrics By the time I put this video up, I think the concert would have already passed. The one, the ones I was planning on going to were any of the date, the LA dates. I think by that time, I'm hoping that I went to one. But if not, I kind of already accepted that if I don't get tickets, then I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Another topic that I wanted to discuss was photo card overpricing for imprint albums. So I know this topic has been covered many times before, especially in the K-pop collecting community. I think everybody probably knows by now that there is a very popular August D or Yoongi photo card floating around right now. The one that is, I believe, a Target exclusive photo card i am not with it as with any overpricing just because it is a popular photo card does not mean it warrants a price of 20 dollars that is the price of an album right there i guess you can argue that maybe it's the convenience of having the photo card rather than trying to buy multiple albums i feel like some people use that to their advantage especially if you are trying to make a profit off of the popularity of a photo card and this isn't just like a bts photo card problem this is a problem across like all groups i think we should stop <laughs> photo card overpricing but i know that sounds like it's easier said than done but reality is people will still continue to overpriced member price all of that but if i can convince or if another person can convince to stop overpricing then at least that's one less person who will overprice so much like my other videos i think i've talked about how i feel like it's cheating if when photo books have like a blank page and then a photo but so far i have not seen a blank page in this so props to yungi for that I mentioned earlier that i did not i decided not to get the target versions just because uh it was already too much <laughs> i've already spent too much on these albums i do always get from global i for whatever reason i don't trust the USA shop so I I just splurge a little bit more on shipping but let me talk about that real quick because in the past 
and I don't know when this changed, but in the past, I know that Weaver's shop, especially, especially the global shop, was using DHL for their shipping. So imagine my surprise when I paid X amount for shipping and they are using USPS. So two weeks ago, they said they shipped it out. And as soon as I saw that they were using USPS, I knew that it was gonna take another week or two to get these albums because USPS, as some of you might know, especially if you live in the US, is not the best. But shout out to postal workers. I know it's not your fault, but it's just the system is not, the system is overwhelmed. He has given us variety. Okay, I love these postcards just because if you wanted to display them, you can either display the photo or you can just display like the graphic on the back. They're equally cool. Ooh, okay, so there's this again, but I think it's oh there's something on the back I didn't even realize. So maybe that's what was supposed to. I might be doing it wrong. Oh, it's like moving, but you can't tell from the angle that I'm doing it at. Okay, again, I'm not gonna look through that. Stickers and then the poster is, ooh. Oh, and this one has like the the songs on the album CD and then we have the oh so he has like both characters from the music video so that is I like it So the last topic that I am gonna cover is my current Yungi collection. It is very, very incomplete. So I'm gonna show it towards the end of this video um, when I put these away. It has been a very long time since I really focused on my BTS collection. I think stylistic wise, I like this version of the album more. The other one was very cinematic. You have to really like look into the photo book because there are like these words which we've seen before i think during the teaser the teaser videos so like this one says small flaws glitches there these are the sources of my now after image or unexpected flaws piled up in layers create the after images of my multiple what is it selves external pressure and internal trauma cause a momentary glitch but it will return to its original state it's very psychological As I mentioned, the last thing that I do want to cover is my current 
Yoongi photo card collection. Now I don't have like a specific, uh, like a separate binder just for Yoongi cards. For all photo, uh, for all album photo cards, I combine all of my Namjoon, Jungkook, and Yoongi photo cards all in one. So this is my very very dusty photo card collection this is where i keep all of my album photo cards so here it is as you can see i have not finished all of it i'm still missing a few but yeah this is how it all looks right now so yeah i have a step these are the only like separate sections i have for Yoongi, I used to collect, I try to collect DVDs and other miscellaneous things, but I, again, like I don't anymore. So this is the only space I have for the new photo cards. And trigger warning, I don't have any sleeves for any of my BTS photo cards, just because back then, okay, back then sleeves were not a thing. Like we were just putting them in like acid free pockets. I haven't had the time to really like sit down and re-sleeve everything because there's a, I have a lot. There's a lot more after this, so that is probably for another video. But yeah, so sorry if this is triggering any collectors. Collecting was not as serious as a business as it is now, so yeah. That is pretty much it for this unboxing and for all of the topics that I wanted to cover. I hope everyone enjoyed watching this and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!